Welcome again. This is the first day of our bit by bit journey. I am uh, going to share a little bit about the first section of the book. Now there's six entries in each section. And so I'll I'll tune in with you every six days and, and share just a little bit about the entry that you're or the section you're getting ready to go into. And today's section is um, is called bit by bit. We cultivate our faith walk. And in so much of this book was written while we were traveling, while we were going from England to France and stepping out that word that God gave us to to follow him and and as we did he he truly just was so sweet to me and and took me right where I was at and helped build my faith daily um, as we as we journeyed with him and so much of this that you're reading I wrote you know during that time in my own journal entries so I hope that you'll appreciate him for that and and just know that he also is going to be building your faith through this process wherever you're at whether you're in your early days of, of trusting him or you've known him a long long time we all have to to dig deep sometimes and go back and go, you know what, God, I want to grow closer to you and I want you to help me to build my faith right now. And so I trust that this, this devotional will help do that for you. Uh, I'm going to read just a little bit of the first day's entry for you. Read the poem that I wrote for that day. And, and you'll see the poetry is, uh, is, is throughout the book. Most, most of the days have a poem that go along with them. And those of course are dear to my heart. God gave me each of them, most of them while we were traveling again. And, uh, during my devotional time, maybe you don't express yourself through poetry. That's fine. Uh, maybe you express yourself another way. Let God work in each day, however he works through you so that you can go closer to him. Uh, this poem's called the little bits. It's the little bits. The unexpected blessings, the smile, the contagious laughter of my youngest, the profound analogy of the eldest. It's the smile when we dance, the song and sweet romance, God's provision in the plan, his unexpected outreached hand. It's the little bits, the views and mountaintops, the sights and breathtaking stops, the quiet moments of reprieve where it's only him and me. It's in the tiny details where desires are met in unusual ways. When he sees my heart and says, I know you, I see you, I hear, I am truly most definitely near. It's the little bits. There are thousands that I know of and more that surely abound where God reaches out and touches this world where I live now. And so God is involved in each and every detail of our life. He may not, he may not be the author, don't get me wrong, <laughs> of everything that's happened in your life. Uh, there, there is an enemy out there who seeks to steal, kill, and destroy. So he may have come along, may have worked his thing in your life, but God will take those things, and, uh, and we'll talk about that more in, in some of these devotional entries, but he'll take those things and he will turn them around for, for your good and for his glory. And so, um, so we have to learn, though, to look for those details in our life. Look for the, his hand in our everyday. And, um, and you'll see a lot of, of, of stories about Cat, our coachman, Catalina, how he provided, how we began traveling, living in a motorhome, something I never thought I'd do. Um, sometimes God will catch us in those unexpected uh, moments and he'll begin ministering to us things that we never even knew we needed to learn. Um, but, but I learned so much as we, as we followed him in that, in this faith walk. Um, and one of the main things I learned was that in order to have uh, big faith, we must have big love. I talk about that um, as you go through this section. But one, one thing that I, I say here is if we want big faith, we must first experience big love, his love. Throughout life, we must come back to this truth. His love is our end goal. You know, when we have that in perspective, when we know how much he loves us, when we begin to see uh, how he's, his hand is, is on so much of our life and we begin to see how he's blessed us, even with the tiniest of things, but then that grows more and more, those, that, that shows his love for us. Um, when we begin to get to know him in his word, in prayer, as we begin to let him minister to us by his spirit, we begin to know his love. And when we know his love, when that love grows inside of us, then we have faith that rises up inside of us as a result. We can trust a loving God. And, and, um, and that's so much of faith. Faith works by love. So I encourage you during this, let God love on you. Let him show you the, the little bits. You may say, you know what, but I don't, I don't see a whole lot of good right now in my life. Ask the Lord to show you those little things in, in your life. Uh, it may be something simple as, you know what, every night I have a nice bed to lay down in. 
And maybe, uh, maybe for you, you're believing God for a new bed even. So you go, you know what? I have a roof over my head. And so we start with those little things that show us that God loves us. We begin to dig into his word, his truth, to find out how much he loves us. And then we let him build that faith in us, that trust in him. And we see him come through in each and every detail of our life. I'm going to pray for you right now as you dig into the next uh, few days journal entries. Just pray a prayer over all of you that are joining me in this. And trust that God is going to continue to grow your faith bit by bit as we do this devotional together. Lord, I just thank you, Father, right now. I thank you, Lord, for all of those that are that are listening to this, for all of those that are joining me in this bit by bit book club. I thank you, Father, as they dig in each and every day to your word, to your truth, as they tune in to listen to your spirit, uh, share his love. Um, I, I thank you, Father, that you are faithful. You're faithful to reveal your love to them. You're faithful to build their faith right where they're at. Take them into that next place that they need to go. We thank you, Father, for your goodness and your mercy. Open our eyes and ears to hear what you have have to say to us through your word and by your, your spirit. In Jesus' name, amen. So anyway, I'm going to let leave you guys with that. Trust you'll have a great week working through these devotionals bit by bit, and I'll see you again next week. Au revoir.